What's going on YouTube? Um, I'm just going to get right into it today. Here's the deal. Every, everyone is glued to the tube right now about this whole credit rating deal with the government. Triple A going down to a double A plus. Right? And let me just speak out for a second. You know, I've, I've looked at Facebook, you know, uh, posts with people saying, we want this idiot out of the office. It's time for a change and all these other kind of things, whatever. But let me tell you the danger in that. You guys know many times I say, I don't care about the government. I don't think, I, I want you to just hear me out for a second. If you are dependent on what the government right is doing do you really have a good financial life think about it if you are dependent on someone else to make a decision and that decision that they make affects your life that's sad you see when you say, hey, government, create jobs. Huh. I say that's the other way around. It's not the government who creates jobs. It's you. Be like, what, what, what do you mean it's, it's you? It's you. If you put your key in ignition right now and drive around, you would see McDonald's. You will see Burger King. You will see Walgreens. You will see banks. You will see all types of businesses who were created by you. What do you mean, Abdul? Who was Walgreens created by? Who was DirecTV created by? Who were these franchises created by? Subway, Microsoft, Intel, I mean, and the list goes on. So if the jobs are created by us, why are we asking the government to create jobs? Why are you barking up the wrong tree? Stop this government madness. Look, what the government is going through right now is what a family needs to go through when it comes to developing a budget. Although the government hasn't got it right yet, but they're working on it. They're working on it. But see, I'm not wasting my time worrying about what that those guys are doing, right? I'm worried about what I'm doing. Because think about it. We're asking lawyers, most of them have law degrees and political science and things of this nature, to balance a budget. I just had a friend go to law school. I don't think he learned anything about finance. You know, I think I should take my taxes to a real estate agent and have a real estate agent do my taxes. Because that's the logical thing to do. You're asking someone to do something that's not in their field. A lot of these guys have never owned a business or no ever run a business and the government in itself is like a business. Spending money you don't have. I mean, we're not just spending money you don't have, but you know, taking money in, trying to raise money, cuts, all these other things. That's business. Business people should be in the White House. But like I said, I can't focus on what those guys are doing, all the ego and all that stuff that's going on. I'm telling you that if you want to create jobs, stop worrying about them and go ahead and bring some of those ideas that you've been kind of cradling for so long and bring them to life. Employ people. Employ yourself. Learn how to make money for yourself. That's all it's about. I just want you to think about this for a second. My, my job is to get you to think for a second and say, hey, he's right. The government really doesn't create jobs. 
So we shouldn't protest our signs and walk in front of the White House and say, give us money and give us jobs. It's worthless. Worthless. You need to be contacting some of those guys in Harvard, Stanford, all those guys. Support those guys. Get those guys. Push them in the right direction. Or yourself. Because they're not the only innovators in this life. They're not the ones who, who only create. We create. So that's all I have to say to that, guys. You know, let me know what you think. So if this is your first time watching this channel, guys, please subscribe. Tell your friends about us. And until next time, signing off.